In direct comparison between tanks, complexities often arise due to differences in operational doctrines and desired environments by each party. Exploring the strengths and weaknesses of both tanks can provide valuable insights. In this discussion, let's delve deeper into the tanks of America and Russia. Beyond mere comparison, we'll explore various aspects of their design, level of protection, mobility, firepower, and their broad implications. We'll start by understanding the design philosophies underlying these tanks. When discussing the tank designs of America and Russia, it's important to remember that they don't exist in isolation. These designs are rooted in the history and military traditions of each country, as well as the doctrines they adhere to. For example, the iconic M1 Abrams tank of America reflects technological superiority, precision, and crew comfort. This mirrors America's historical military focus on rapid technological advancement and joint operational strategies where tanks like the Abrams play a crucial role in attacks with powerful firepower and precision features like advanced targeting systems and ergonomic designs prioritizing crew comfort. All these aim to enhance situational awareness and crew survivability in intense conflict situations. On the other hand, tanks like the Armada T-14 from Russia prioritize durability ease of maintenance, and reliability. This philosophy arises from Russia's harsh natural conditions and their experiences in prolonged conflicts, where logistical support may often be limited. Through features like robust construction and simple design in the T-14, they ensure the tank's effectiveness even in the toughest environments. The Russian military doctrine emphasizes attacks involving various types of weapons, including heavy artillery and air power. This allows for a focus on resilience and adaptability, considering the traditional role of tanks in close-range combat. Whether in support operations or penetration, both sides can confront threats with tremendous firepower, capable of neutralizing various types of threats. American tanks like the M1 Abrams are equipped with the powerful smoothbore 120mm M256 cannon a long-range weapon highly precise and capable of delivering deadly blows with high accuracy. This superiority is further enhanced by advanced fire control systems, seamlessly integrating long-range search technologies like advanced laser rangefinders and ballistic computers, ensuring precise target acquisition and rapid engagement, even from significant distances. However, it's important to remember that this long-range combat superiority may come with higher risks in close-range battles. On the contrary, Russian tanks like the T-90M emphasize the use of different weapons, more suitable for battles in harsh urban environments. With the 125mm smoothbore 2A46M cannon, these tanks can rapidly fire anti-tank or high-explosive rounds with significant firepower highly effective in suppressing infantry and clearing obstacles in close-quarter battles. Moreover, they are often equipped with automatic grenade launchers and coaxial machine guns, further enhancing their capabilities in such battles. Thus, while American tanks have superior firepower in long-range battles and against heavy armored targets, the ability of Russian tanks to dominate confined spaces and provide superior protection is invaluable in close-range battle scenarios. American tanks implement a layered protection approach using composite armor combining steel, ceramics, and other materials to form shields highly resistant to various threats. For example, the iconic Chobham armor of the Abrams has the ability to withstand kinetic energy penetrators. Additionally, Advanced reactive armor systems further enhance their defense by detonating upon impact, absorbing the impact from Russian tank attacks, especially newer models like the T-90M. Although the T-90M also utilizes composite armor, its more classical design still relies on protection from specific thicknesses of steel armor. 
a system involving steel plates coated with gaps to disrupt kinetic energy projectiles. While this method is effective against older ammunition, it may be less reliable against modern threats with larger profiles. Some Russian tanks may provide better protection for crew compartments. Ultimately, while American composite armor offers superior protection against modern threats, the more classical design of Russian tanks may be more vulnerable. However, the larger profiles of some Russian tanks may provide better protection for crew compartments and exceed the importance of protection. The effectiveness of a tank heavily depends on its ability to navigate the battlefield. American tanks with powerful engines and advanced suspension systems excel in off-road terrain. The mobility of the Abrams, powered by a 1,500 horsepower turbine engine, allows it to traverse rough terrain with ease, overcoming obstacles and slopes with impressive agility. The advanced transmission system provides smooth gear shifts and superior maneuverability, making them agile predators on the battlefield, albeit not as agile as Russian tanks. Their strength in mobility comes from their lighter weight and lower ground pressure allowing them to operate in softer terrain like snow and mud, adapting to various environments seamlessly. Thus, American tanks excel in off-road mobility and agility, while Russian tanks offer better performance in softer terrains and require less maintenance. It's important to remember that looking at technical specifications alone does not provide a comprehensive overview. Direct comparisons often fall short without considering the differences in military doctrines between the two countries. The United States, with its global focus and emphasis on rapid deployment, tends to prioritize tanks that can be easily transported over long distances and operate effectively in diverse environments. In this context, adaptability becomes key, reflected in features like air transportability and the ability to operate in extreme temperatures. On the other hand, Russia tends to focus more on regional defense strategies, particularly regarding potential conflicts near their borders. This means that tank designs requiring low maintenance and having readily available spare parts are crucial to ensuring operational continuity in areas with limited logistical support. Stating that tanks from one country are better than those from another is an oversimplification. However, if you were asked to choose a tank from one of the countries, Please share your opinion in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.